I'm walking up near where I parked last year in the slabs and it was just sand but now this year it's covered in grass and flowers it's crazy there's a bunch of purple flowers everywhere this all just seems to be rolling sand dunes someone's yelling around maybe for their dog I'm not sure um so I have the doghouse off and I'm gonna go see if Joseph is up and wants to look at it. At this point, uh, Joseph is helping um, diagnose maybe what it could be, and this piece here, the idler control valve, is um, might be malfunctioning, so he's going to remove it and see if it's dirty. And um, it's now that it's hot, it keeps dying, but he taps on this and it revs the engine back up. So it's either stuck or dirty or something may or may not be the issue. Also the knocking has um, not been as intense or even as noticeable at all to me now that I've been starting it a few times. Uh, yesterday and today the knocking has gone away on its own from what I can tell. So. Can I get someone's uh, herb leader? Yeah. Try it one more time. It slowly goes down now instead of really quick. Yeah. Or you crank it up and then you crank up and then just fall in the space. I just clean the aisle and pull it down now. And that knocking isn't there. Not, Not as loud as it was. Time. Right now Rico and Ben are jamming out together. Ben's got a saxophone, he's got two of them actually. But I decided to take Sherry out for a spin and have her warm up, see if uh Just gonna go drive around, see if I might have fixed Sherry. What? We're gonna go drive around and see if I fix Sherry. So something I haven't done is drive this way in Slab City yet. Um, so there is the range. That's where the talent show is and every, I think, Friday night or Saturday night they've got some stuff going on. I'm gonna head over to East Jesus, kinda just drive there and then drive back. A 
lots of people hanging out. Nice sculptures. This one looks new. Okay. Hey there everyone, so I have shown you what's happened today with my van. It's, um, I think it's two days after I put up the video asking for help. So ugh, I'm still in the slabs and I did reach out to RV Prepper Wayne and I just talked to him on the phone. Um, and I also, uh, in camp here, um, there's a mobile mechanic named Joseph and he um, helped me out this morning and so what we did was looked at the idler control valve and he cleaned it out. Um, he also wanted to try my coolant sensors because uh, that is the code that still pops up but um, we couldn't exactly get to the coolant sensors to mess with them and um, then we started he started messing with the idler control valve and then took it off and cleaned it and put it back on and now it is starting pretty well. Um, I have tested it a few more times and it's still doing really good. I have no idea if um, uh, Joseph says that's too easy of a fix. I don't believe it. Um, and RV Prepper Wayne says run it for, sorry these freaking flies. <laughs> He says, run it for as much um, as you can and just see where it goes and let me know if you need any help. So both guys have been so helpful and I'm, I'm really going to watch it, of course. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everyone who contributed, contributed in any way, shape, or form. Stay tuned for whatever other updates I come up with and... Uh, we're just going to cross our fingers. I'll let you know, obviously, if anything else happens. And thank you again to everyone.